Hello and welcome to New Play Day on Shakespeare. We get to dig into King Richard II. And now I know we're doing this whole thing alphabetically and there are those that call this play Richard II instead of King Richard II. But the way that it's written down in my list, it's King Richard II. So we're gonna do this play now as opposed to later. And why not? It's, it's oh my goodness, it's an intense play with some really huge, really beautiful monologues. So let's dig in. First of all, this is one of the history plays. So a couple quick little history notes for you. Uh, when the play starts, Richard is the king. Richard II is the king. Now he was the son of Edward the Black Prince, who is the eldest son of Edward III. Um, also in this scene, there's John of Gaunt, who is like the fourth son of Edward III or something like that. So there's no actual succession problems there, but John of Gaunt has a son named Henry Bolingbroke, who's also known as Henry of Hereford and Henry of Derby, I think, something along those lines, who is in this scene as well. So King Richard II is in this scene with his uncle, John of Gaunt, and his cousin, Henry Bolingbroke. There's, there's a lot of family stuff, and, and however you want to look at this, with family dynamics, it can make it more interesting or it can not have anything to do with anything, you know, wh however you wanna play that. But anyway, um, at this moment, Richard is king and um, before the play starts, the Duke of Gloucester has been killed and it's not quite clear who killed Gloucester. There is some actual legit historical speculation that Richard II might have been involved in the death of the Duke of Gloucester at this point in time. Um, but that's that's sort of where we're starting the play is Gloucester has recently been killed and, and people don't know who did it or any of that sort of stuff. So they start out and it's the king in court and a bunch of other people are there and he's like john of gaunt are are you bringing your son before us and thomas mowbray like you said you were going to and he's like yep so they bring him in and now we've got thomas mowbray who's just sort of another nobleman and henry bolingbroke standing in front of the king and the king's like okay so what do you got to say and bolingbroke starts out first heaven be the record to my speech in the devotion of a subject's love, tendering the precious safety of my prince and free from other misbegotten hate, come I appellant to this princely presence. Now, Thomas Mowbray, do I turn to thee and mark my greeting well, for what I speak, my body shall make good upon this earth or my divine soul answer it in heaven. Thou art a traitor and a miscreant, too good to be so and too bad to live. Since the more fair and crystal is the sky, the uglier seem the clouds that in it fly. Once more, the more to aggravate the note, with a foul traitor's name stuff I thy throat and wish, so please my sovereign, ere I move, what my tongue speaks, my right drawn sword may prove. Dun, da, da, da. So we're starting out the play with a bit of a trial and Henry Bolingbroke is accusing Thomas Mowbray of being a traitor to the crown, to the country, to all of that sort of fun stuff. And he's challenging him to um, a bit of a um, trial by combat. If you're a Game of Thrones person, they're going for a trial of combat as opposed to like an actual hearing kind of a situation. And tomorrow we get to hear Mowbray's response to it. So yeah not not a lot just yet but we'll get in there because this is it's a complicated play with lots of interesting relationships and it's i've i i was in a production of this play at one point as well and i actually wore this tank top as one of the characters because it was that kind of play um but yeah this is this is an exciting one and a very very deep and heavy heavy play that's oh it's just beautiful it's just beautiful so anyway that was Bolingbroke starting off in act one scene one and tomorrow we get to hear from Mowbray and hear his retort to being called a traitor I'll see you then for that Mwah.